Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Grid. Now, on this one, we're going to check out a new plugin from Video Copilot called Element. Now, Element is a 3D plugin where you can uh, directly put in 3D objects inside of After Effects. But uh, one thing that I kind of been noticing is you can't really do a, you can do a lot of customization in the actual plugin itself. But if you want to do a lot of customization, you have to do it in another 3D program. Um, and one of the hardest things I found out was to uh, put materials uh, or separate materials from 3ds Max onto After Effects. So that's basically what I'm going to show you right here. But just to let you guys know what uh, this plugin is capable of, here's a quick little rendition. Really, really cool. A lot of 3D stuff, a lot of elements, depth of field, 3D, really, really cool stuff. But uh, the thing I want to focus on the most is beveling and adding separate textures from a 3D program. Uh, and I'm going to be focusing on 3ds Max. So in 3ds Max, uh, we're going to do something really simple. Uh, we're going to create some text. Uh, so in order to do that text, if you are a 3D fan or if you know how to do with some 3ds Max, you're going to go over into our uh, splines and we're going to hit text. Now I'm going to be using my TG text, my tutorial grid text, and my favorite is Bank Gothic. So what you do is you type in your text there, you create a size, and then you kind of click in the middle, and then you can size it up uh, compared to uh, what you want to do. Now you want to make sure to put this on the front, that way it's going to be in the front little panel, so you're not going to put it on the bottom so it's facing upwards, which would be awkward. Okay, now in order to, order to bevel this out, you are going to go to our modifiers list, which is going to be this one right here. You're going to go to the modifier list and you'll go down to bevel. We'll hit bevel and that automatically bevels out our text here. So you can see it already has a nice little text. Now mine's already been pre-beveled because I was messing with this earlier. So just to show you how to do this, I'm going to go ahead and set all this stuff to zero. Ta-da, zero. All right, now I have exactly what you're probably looking like or what you're looking at, uh, except you probably have better text. I have some pretty crappy, crappy text. Okay, but, so, to bevel this out, we're going to go ahead and hit the height. I'm going to bevel it out a little bit. Nah, too much. And about right there. And then you're going to hit this little checkbox on level 2. So you're going to hit that checkbox so it's checked. You're going to take out the height just a little bit. I have mine at, I'll just set it to 2. And then I'm going to put my outline, and I'm going to put that into the negative. So I'm going to go ahead and negative the outline. That way it brings out this nice little, this little sharp bevel right here. Cool? All right. Now, one of the things that um, what I like to do is I like to outline my text and have a very solid in text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up into my modifier list. I'm going to hit the down button, and I'm going to hit edit poly. So I'm going to hit the edit, edit, edit poly tool. And I'm going to hit this little square right here on the polygons. So I'm going to hit this right here, and I'm going to hit the G right there. I'm also going, uh, so I'm going to set the front face. So I only have the front faces selected. So in the end, I'm actually going to have three separate objects that I'm able to materialize. Uh, so <clears throat> I have the front done here, and then, okay, so in order to select both of these, you're going to want to hold down control. So if I just hit one of these, I'm only selecting one. You hit control and you select the other one. So go ahead and turn on the back after you selected your, your faces and then hit the back faces as well. So that you have both of the faces selected. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go down and you're going to detach it. So go ahead and hit detach and that makes it to where we can select just the face of one of these uh, texts so you can just select the faces or you yeah you can select yeah the faces it's good you can select the faces select the faces so that's gonna become one object uh, so you can animate alright so now we're going to detach our other faces alright now you now to select the rest of our faces we're gonna select the uh, our object so you're not going to hit this hit the face of it you're actually going to hit the middle of it because we want the uh, the item to modify uh, in a different way this time so we're going to go ahead and click you're going to select this top part right here and you're going to do the polygon tool and we're going to select the bevel you can actually 
go on and select the bevel like so. You can just select it, click and drag to select just the bevel there. So we have just this bevel selected. Right, so now we have just that little bevel selected by clicking and dragging in the middle of our bevel. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go down, we're gonna hit detach. So blammo, attach, or detach. <clears throat> All right, now we have one, two, and three separate items in this 3D object. Cool? I'm cool. All right, now what we're going to do in this one, we're gonna go into our uh, material options. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit M or we're gonna get out of our modifier panel. We're gonna hit M and it brings up our materials. Now usually what I do if I'm wanting to select materials, I go by one, two, three. So we have three separate objects that we're gonna materialize and we don't need to actually make it look good in uh, 3ds Max if you're just doing simple text and you wanna modify it later in After Effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag this first material over to our first object. So now we have material one on the top. I'm gonna to select the second one, material two on our bevel. And our third one is going on material three on the top portion of it. So now we have our completely materialized object in 3ds Max. So now in order to export all of this out into, a, into the video copilot element, you're going to want to go click on this little button right here, which is your top panel. And you'll go down to export. And we're going to export it out as, we'll just say TG Tut. Now, don't hit save yet. Go click this little bottom arrow right here where it says Autodesk FBX, and you'll go down to uh, OBG, or OBJ, the OBJ exporter, hit save, and it'll bring up all of this. Now, in order to save all the properties, um, you're gonna uncheck these two things so don't do hidden objects don't do shapes and lines just do flip yz access you're going to have everything checked that i have checked here faces you want triangles because obj does uh, triangle uh, looks at OB triangle faces and then you're going to hit export so we have our material exported out and then we have our materials three so we have a total of three materials that will be applied to our 3d object boom all right now that we're done with that go into After Effects. Bam! After Effects. So in your After Effects composition, you'll go up to New, New Composition, 1920 by 1080, easy enough. We'll go into Layer, New, uh, Solid, hit just a black solid or any color will work. And we'll type over here in After Effects Presets, Element. Bring that down. And we'll go into Scene Setup. All right, now that we're in our scene setup, we're gonna hit import, and we're going to go to where our tutorial is, our little TG map, and then we'll import our small 3D object. Now notice it's all completely the same way as what our 3D exporter did. We have the text, looks good. All right, but notice we have three different defaults here. That's because we se separated it into three different forms. Okay, now if you don't have the Pro Shaders uh, plugin or anything like that, that you can also get with the Element the Element plugin, you can use the materials that it comes with. You can use our shiny material, which you, you can see it just makes it really shiny. Uh, you can put different materials on top of this. Notice we have very, very shiny text. Very nice. Uh, you can also, what I like to do is with the edges, bring out that nice, clean, crisp kind of look. But if you do have the pro shaders, you have a lot of different stuff to choose from. Like you can do this black steel with gold grunge. Looks pretty sweet. They also have a lot of other neat things you can do. We have a lot of metal you can plug in there. A lot of stuff with like textures and all sorts of good stuff. Okay, so now that you have all that stuff plugged in, hit OK. 
and you have your 3D text. So notice it's really flat. Uh, if you don't want it to be so flat and you want it to be more 3D, you're going to have to add your camera. So go ahead and add the camera, and boom, boom, you have 3D directly in your After Effects project. TG, TG. All right, but that is the simple way of creating a small object in 3ds max importing it into after effects through video copilot element and customizing the shade and the textures all right but if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment below if you guys want to hear more tutorials about different things about this plugin or anything else please leave those also in the comment i'll try to comment back on them as soon as i possibly can uh, also check out our avid site over on the facebook the facebook avid facebook avid facebook.com slash avid productions 479 check it out please like us subscribe to the videos as well all right well this is cherokee and i hope you guys have a good one